Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to shred. I'm using the word shred in a very loose way because I'm not the best shredder by any means. And honestly, if I was gonna be creating a guitar solo over a track, probably the last thing that I would ever be doing is shredding as to me, note choice is way more important than playing fast. But there's certain things that we can learn with this technique that's gonna really help you lead playing. By the way, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button. Right, let's get back to it. Today we're going to be working from C major, A minor. Now for this particular technique, it's a really good idea to learn your scales. Now, the way that I'm going to show you how to do this is a six note per string scale all the way up the neck in the key of A minor or C major. And that scale sounds like this. play it fast now before we learn the technique of how to play this fast let's learn the scale so we're going to start from the second fret on the D string which is an E note and we're going to work up the scale just six notes then I'm going to move up a note so I'm going to move to the F note and then work up the scale from there. Just six notes. Now the next note, which is a G. Now what you'll notice with this, you've got a bit of a stretch. If you have your thumb down the back of the neck, if you look at this top camera here, you'll see that my thumb is positioned about in the middle of the neck. My thumb isn't over the top of the neck. If you put your thumb over the top of the neck, you're never gonna get the stretch. It needs to be down, down the back of the neck. Then we're gonna move up to the A note. So, so far we've got this. If I play that fast. Next we're going to the B note. Working up six notes. Next we're going to the C. So, so far we've got this. Play a bit faster. Next, we're going to move up to the D. Now, this one's slightly tricky because, because we need a couple of stretches here. Then up to the E note. Then to the F. Then the G. Now we're gonna stop there because a lot of guitars only have 21 frets and I'm finishing on my 21st fret. So, so far it sounds like this. Now you might have noticed that I'm accenting every time I change a string. So my starting note is an accent. And when I change string to the G string, every time I'm accenting that note as well. Now, when I worked this out, this was a light bulb moment. It's where to start your pick. I'm a big advocate of alternate picking. I find for myself that if I wanna play cleanly, if I alternate pick, that is the way that I'm gonna get the most articulation and the cleanliness out of each of those notes. So if I was gonna pick in my normal way, I'd be starting with a downstroke. So that's down, up, down. Now, if I was gonna continue with the alternate picking, my next note is actually gonna be an upstroke. 
which is the first note on the G string. Now, if I play that, I'm gonna start off slow and I'll play that as fast as I possibly can using that technique. Now already I'm starting to fight with this hand because I'm not really using any economy in my picking. So what we're gonna do is to start from an upstroke. We're gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. As you can see, we're not actually doing any string skipping with this. We're just alternate picking as we always were, but because we're starting from an upstroke, when I go to the G string, I'm actually using a downstroke to get to that first note on the G. Now, if I start off slow with this technique and then build up the speed, because my hand isn't moving as far and we're using it in a much more economical way, I can pick a lot faster. So let me put on some drive and we'll see how it sounds with a bit of drive on it. If you're not interested in playing fast, that is still a great technique to learn because what you're doing is you're learning the scale up the neck on two strings, which is a really handy thing to do. You can also do this on other strings as well. And also you're stretching your hands, so you're gonna be able to reach those slightly further notes than you normally would. Just remember to keep your thumb on the back of the neck. And we're also learning this picking technique of how to pick cleanly. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and to be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.